already. Okay, that could be a problem. Welcome to episode 6. Now that this thing does this after sitting in the woods 35 years. Oh, it purrs like a kitten! We need to make it stop. And I don't mean the series, I mean the car. If you, ain't, you can't stop, you can't drive it. So in this episode, we're all about fixing the brakes. If you saw the live stream on Sunday, I tore apart the calipers. I had to drill the backside of the caliper bodies to push the pistons out because they were rusted solid. I don't know what this bolt is for, but we're going to use it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why those would not come out easy. That is all rust. Once I got the calipers apart, I took them to work and I sandblasted them. Stick that on in there. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Blow it out real quick, and uh, should be good to go. And then, brought the calipers back to the house, and like a dumbass, I painted them without plug welding them. Backyard paint booth. Got our caliper parts all lined up. We got some caliper paint from Australia. The can came upside down. I don't know if I have to be upside down to spray it, but we'll see what happens. Here goes nothing. That's really silvery. Brand new. Restoration in a bottle. You know what, I should probably plug weld the holes in it. We'll uh, throw a little weld at it. All right, see what we can break here. Okay, that could be a problem. Yeah, call me fireman. Okay, yeah, so we've got uh, plugs welded into our caliper bodies and they're looking all right. Why we got a lot of burn on that, but that's as easy as just cleaning up a little bit. A lot of heat, a lot of wire speed. Comment down below if uh, you would do this to your calipers. This is purely experimental. I don't recommend it. It's for this garage and this garage only. We got our super sophisticated bolt holder, nine bajillion here. Um, it's gonna look gray, just like they do. Look at that, look at the change, people. Once we plug well them. Hello? Huh? Hello? Once we plug welded them, threw some paint on it again for the second time. All right, body's painted, just waiting on pistons now. Brought them back in here, we put them back together. I am a patron to Seaside Garage, and he did hook it up with a sticker, woo! Oh, a bunch of them, hell yeah. They can go all over my cars. Shout out Seaside Garage. Everything else is parts. I think there's one set, two set. This is VP Auto Parts. Should be my pistons. Oh yeah. Little baby. Baby. So we need two per caliper. And then of course one large one for each. New bleeders. Set of those. One set of those. Bleeder. All right, well, we got new braided hoses. I got a new clutch fork and I'll show you why. And of course I got new hard lines too. Just the crossover lines for the spindles. I can do all the other lines. I've got stuff to do it anyway. Here we have all of our caliper pieces laid out. 
both halves of each caliper, pin kit and springs and hardware. Each caliper has two large bolts and two smaller bolts for a brand new bleeder and caps for our bleeder, our large piston, and then two small pistons. Each caliper is a three piston caliper. New seals for each piston, dust covers for each piston. And of course, we've got doubles of everything because we have a left and right side. So let's begin. Let's start with the big guy first. Take your O-ring. Get a bunch of brake fluid on it because that's what's going to be in the caliper. Set it in the groove, push around. Because you're a professional and you know what you're doing, that went really easy and you had no problems. Careful getting brake fluid on your caliper paint. Because the caliper paint might not hold up to that. Guess how I know? I recommend starting close to you and working your way out. Work, working your way out because you're a professional and it's easy. Make sure that sucker's all set in there. Take a little brake fluid. Get that good. Get this guy good. Take a pick. You're gonna take your seal, fill your seal up a little bit. Get it to sit up. Ooh yeah, just like that. There you go. And then you just pop her in. Pop pop. Pop straight in. Back side is where it gets a little more tricky. The brake fluid. Get your O-ring all lubricated. Tuck her down in there. Like swimwear. And on to number two. This guy gets a little tricky. So again, start close to you. Get up onto that lip. Take the other one, push out. Make sure she's on the lip, and then work it around. On the lip, work it around. This one gets a little tricky when it comes to putting the pistons in. Get brake fluid on the guy. There we go. That's how you do it. Or the body O-rings. A little bit of something something on there to keep uh, keep the love real, if you know what I mean. Get our hardware. Send her home. I'm not going to tighten down the bleeder yet. The bleeder interferes with the, uh, the hardware that's so close. So what I'm going to do is once this is on the car, I'll torque the, all the body bolts. But yeah, there we go. Brake pads. Right now the old brake pads are going in. I know. I don't know. What are you call brake pads? Temporary. I put the, the pads I bought down somewhere and I have no idea where they are. Comment down below if you lose stuff in your garage all the time. I do, because I'm special. Okay, pads are in. Cotter pin, cotter pin, brake spring, brake, brake, brake spring. <sighs> well, that's why. It's not centered. It goes better if you center it. Other guy. Here we go. There's a full caliper with pads. Freshly rebuilt. Should work, hopefully. If they start dumping fluid out of them, it's probably for any number of reasons, and then we'll just buy new ones. Hope I don't have to, because <laughs> these parts are expensive. Hashtag check me out on Patreon. DeanMachines.com. Buy yourself some merch. Once we got them all back together, we rebuilt the wheel bearings, cleaned them up, packed them with grease, and threw them back on the car. Can anybody know how to get out of the back of this thing? Honey, can you let me out, honey? Oh, you heard your children. <sighs> we got to deal with these rotors. They're the old style with the wheel bearing that's built into the rotor. So the race is part of the rotor, or at least the bearing is pressed into the back side of the rotor, which means Got to take the wheel bearing apart to take the rotor off the car. It's more fun to see if we can save what's on the car, right? That's the point. Anyway, let's get to it. 
like fixing anything, you can try a hefty tap. It doesn't look like it's gonna pop right off. So come in here with a flathead. My aim is terrible. That's why my old lady never smiles. And nailed it. Okay. Here we go. Give it a turn. Out you come. Comment down below if you've seen the video where the old lady found these in the yard.
now that we got some brakes on this thing, you bet your bottom dollar we took it for a test drive. Too bad it's dark out. Night time. Daytime. Night time. Daytime. Daytime. All right. It's running like ass though. I think it's got bad gas in it. We need to do something about that. We also need to figure out why it's not charging. Put some water in her. Looks like we got some leaks. I can't tell if our uh, JB Weld is holding up there. But it looks like water pump maybe? Definitely, kind of. Well, didn't like that. Wait, this is about as far as we made it. And you know what? I went to leave and the old lady pulled up, so I had to convince a beautiful lady to get in my sh sh um shit box. I'm sorry. You're not a shit box. You're a beautiful piece of Swedish machinery. I love you. Hey beautiful lady, wanna go for a ride? Are we going? And this thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, and this thing. I mean, yeah, baby, of course. <laughs> Why don't you hop on in this thing? Do I need anything? A hope and a prayer, maybe. I know how to work technology, I promise. I don't know anything about technology. Look how easy it starts, honey. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Sounds like it's getting hot. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for this guy. Can you believe it? It's got brakes after 35 years. Oh my God. We got a bit of cleaning up to do. If you like the build, check out our Patreon. Or if you want to buy a t-shirt, deanofmachines.com. If you're on Instagram, brat brat dean. Stay tuned for our next episode. We need to figure out why the oil is doing the old evacuation of the uh, head. I don't know what the deal is with that. But we'll figure it out, right? That's what we do on this channel. Not a professional, I'm just a guy. You know what I mean? I'm just a guy being a guy doing guy things. That's all. Definitely need a throttle return spring. And suddenly it's just revving to the moon. I don't know. It doesn't have a moon tune. Doing its own thing. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for enjoying the stuff. Slap a like. Hit subscribe. Slap your mom. Whatever you gotta do to enjoy your day. How about you go out in your garage and fix something, huh? See ya.